<laughs> Great speech. I was here three or four weeks ago for another speech you did, and I noticed there was a lot of synchronicity with your two speeches. You are enough. That is the theme of the speech. Doesn't that sound great? Mm-hmm. You are enough. I wish my wife would tell me that. Sarah's typically the opposite, but uh, just kidding, I love you, man. Uh, <laughs> so what I loved about your speech uh, is you started with a story, and a good portion of your speech, you maintain that story, and typically, me personally, it's easier for me to follow along when stories are involved. And I felt, felt that was the same for the audience. You really had our attention throughout your speech. You had a great energy, and you're really confident up here. Myself included and others in the room, when, you get up and, when we get up and speak, sometimes you can sense an uneasiness about, about the person when they're speaking. I didn't get that sense from you at all. You're very comfortable um, holding the audience's attention. You know, the objectives were all about changing your tone. Uh, and pitch and using vocal variety, you definitely did that. Specifically when you were imitating uh, the other person that was involved in the story, you kept switching tones and switching positions. So uh, you definitely accomplished that objective. There was good humor in the speech. Uh, You you smiled a lot, um, gave us kind of a warm presence. And very practical advice. Uh, Similar to your last speech you gave, you know, you are enough. Um, it's very practical and good to hear for all of us. A couple things you could have, you, I would think, where you could do better um, or make the speech a little bit better it is there's essentially two parts of the speech. There's the story where you talked about that person is enough, you are enough, and then there was a part where you talk about time and you living it backwards. And I get how they're connected, but maybe you could have made that connection a little bit stronger or Tied, tied them both together at the end. It was almost like I felt there's two separate speeches tied into one. A little more conversational, perhaps, in, in your speech. Um, and that's something we all need to work on. Uh, instead of, some, sometimes you almost had too formal of a tone. And any data or information that could support your uh, thesis of your speech it always be is always helpful but overall you did a great job and it's I'm always amazed when people get up here and give speeches uh, in their second language I know I personally struggle giving a speech in my first language just English. Uh, and so yeah phenomenal job and, and keep up the good work Waiters, waiters, fee fee, fei fei. No, there's no synchronicity there. <laughs> I wanted to add that I absolutely agree with your review and that I found your speech really inspiring the first time I heard it. Uh, you are not enough, or you. Wrong message. That's why I'm working on it. The phrase, you are enough, is actually on my phone's home screen now because I realize I don't look at the mirror often enough. I do want to see that message a lot, and I find that's very, very helpful. Cool. Can I get a evaluator's report? Timer, please. Timer. Yes, everyone qualified this morning. Excellent. And the off counter, please. The off counter report. Very clean so far. Ariana, you had a couple of clutches, so thank you for something you just kind of drew them out. Um, John Pekavich, my fellow uh, hummer, <laughs> about seven or eight in there. Let's work on it. Fei Fei, 